HK6 series, series one. So here's my setup for doing the coil spring. You got the um, coil spring compressor I made. It goes a little pin across the top. And I just got a bunch of different items to give it the beveled edge it needs. And um, and um, then I got these two guide pins because if you use rods, if you use rods, how are you gonna? You got to take the rod out to get these bolts in, right? Yeah. So to get it, after I get it up close enough, I get these little longer ones that because I had to cut these ones just to make them the right size because. They're too long because my other bolts, like my other video is wearing, are thrashed. The threads are fucking galled up to toast. Come on, get over there. So. Yeah, now it's dark. It's so long I've been at it. So I had to weld, weld this thing up. because it was broke off or whatever it was, I'm not sure. And um, thank you to my dad, Dennis, for giving me that heavy duty welder and that bitchin' nickel alloy rod from this 1970s. <laughs> it's better than, look, I want, I, if you're afraid to try to buy some that, that's something that it would cost today. But yeah, thanks, Dennis. Like among other projects, I couldn't do without you, thank you. So let me get all these out. So here you can see right here, the size difference of these. So when I get it close, so when I get it close, I start, put the longer one in, you know, to get the threads going, and then um, get it all the way up where it's, I, I, I'm not joking, I had to fight it, dude. It took me like an hour to get the coil spring in with this tool. The shim wasn't, uh, didn't have enough angle on it, so I had to make one. I had to go to Harbor Freight and get a step fit because um, my cool ass neighbor gave, gave me a Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight um, uh, gift card for Christmas. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Thanks, Steve, for that one. And um, yeah, so it took me like an hour to get this side in, but it's in. And no going to the threads. That threaded rod, man, I just don't dig it. I'm not digging on that at all. I took used a threaded rod to take one side out and I, I made that spring compressor tool in. And this side, when I started the bolts, it threaded in really nicely. They threaded right in. Put the longer ones in first, took them out, put the shorter ones in. Everything went together nicely. I didn't have to fight nothing because that fucking, that all thread, man. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I recommend not to use it. Um, yeah, there's a couple of good sites. That Euro guy, Jaguar, um, um, uh, subframe rebuild. That dude did a. Few. That guy had some money in to invest in that thing. Everything was powder coated. All this thing was brand new. But um, thanks to him because there was a couple of things like, for instance, these upper, upper um, control arm ones. You know, he showed you. I lay it flat and then hold it down and one of them is taller than the other that so you can tell which one goes in the front and another one um uh, when you do the brakes you have to put a shim inside that one very very useful information because the book don't tell you that shit and it's been a few weeks so i don't remember half the stuff where it fucking goes but that's what's going on i'm gonna do the other side and like i said this side took me about an hour i'm not gonna lie it's not easy i'm a pretty seasoned mechanic and this is a challenge man this is no joke Okay, that's what's up. See ya.